Um, understanding aromatase. Uh, we're going to take a look today at aromatase. It's, I'm doing a bunch of videos on anti-estrogens and <clears throat> Uh, most of them are aromatase inhibitors, and uh, I would say that it's important to understand what you're actually inhibiting um, uh, so you can properly apply the drug and use it correctly. Um, I think a lot of guys in bodybuilding are not using aromatase inhibitors correctly. Uh, they don't know when to use them, uh, how to use them, and they don't even understand how aromatase works. Um, but let's dig into a little bit um, uh aromatase how androgens are converted to estrogen oh before i do that uh please uh subscribe to my channel i get a lot of people watching my videos not a lot of people subscribing i'd really appreciate it if you subscribed uh, i'm my intention is to keep making these videos um but if you know if there's a motivation to do so i need people to subscribe um also like the video share with other people if you find the information helpful um and if you have anything else that you want me to make videos on please let me know uh follow me at on instagram too uh, at paul k barnett uh, i'll give you the heads up when the stuff's coming out um uh, okay so aromatase what is aromatase um it is a enzyme that is responsible for a key step in the biosynthesis of estrogens and bodybuilding, um, you know, and there's many hormones that you know, there are anabolic androgenic steroids that we use that aromatize, you know, most notably, uh, uh, we have testosterone, okay? Um, and testosterone converts at roughly a 20%. Um, um, you, know, you know, keep in mind that's, that's an average. Um, it could be more, it could be less, depending on your genetics, body fat percentage, things like that. Um, it, it, it is responsible for the conversion of androgens into estrogen. Um, that is the process called aromatization. You'll hear that mentioned in bodybuilding from, from time to time. Um, aromatized enzyme in the men is primarily found in adipose tissue. It's made other, other places in the brain, um, the gonads um, as well, but primarily in adipose tissue. So the fatter you are, the more aromatase you make, uh, which means the more you're going to aromatize steroids that convert into estrogen. So consider that when making your choices of, of AASs to deploy. If you're 30% body fat, you probably don't want to be taking a bunch of testosterone. Um, it also transforms androstenedione into estrone and testosterone into estradiol, just so you know the, the different types of estrogens. Um, aromatase, though, you know, so here's the thing. You don't want to completely crush your estrogen. Um, it's a fine balance. you got to walk. Aromatase does play um, an importance in health. Aromatase and estrogen are neuroprotective. Um, and <clears throat> long-term... Uh, um, aromatase inhibitor abuse can lead to things such as neuropathy and nerve damage. Um, it can also lead, lead to, uh, they, you know, there's other things they protect too, bone health. Um, you know, some estrogen is necessary for bone health. Um, you know, you can end up having osteoporosis if you don't have enough estrogen. Um, uh, also, excessive est uh, um, aromatase suppression um, indirectly through the reduction of estrogen causes uh, lipid issues. You end up crushing your cholesterol, um, and which short term, no big deal if you're just doing it for a couple of weeks for contest prep, not the end of the world. But if you completely crush your estrogen for years after year, you can end up having plaque buildup in your arteries and um, have a heart attack or stroke as a result. Um, there's other things to mention too, but uh, you know those are the key things we're worried about with with bodybuilding health. You know, neurological damage, you know, brain damage, uh, numbness in your hands, numbness in your feet, um, and ending up with osteoporosis long term, having a heart attack or stroke. Those are a big deal. Now, um, and it's not to say that it's in, super dangerous to do this, but you want to properly apply the drug i think a lot of a lot of guys end up using aromatase inhibitors when they aren't necessary um 
and and that that comes in from doing blood work. You do your blood work, find out where you're at, and and you know find out if you truly need it. Um, also, if you're with symptoms, if you're not exhi- exhibiting symptoms of issues with with estrogen, you know, such as gynecomastia, which is the main thing we're concerned about in bodybuilding, uh, especially in the off season. Who cares if you're bloated up some? But um, don't worry about crushing your estrogen. Um, there are diseases that cause issues with aromatase. There, there is excess aromatase syndrome, uh, where some people just make too much aromatase. I wonder sometimes about myself if I don't have something similar. Although a lot of these guys that have that end up with stunted growth and full blown breast tissue. But I had gyno as a teenager before I ever even used anything. I hadn't touched a thing, and I had gyno when I was a teenager and. Anytime I get my estrogen checked, it is through the roof. I mean, there's been times it's been in the hundreds um, without even being on anything. It's it's nuts. Um, and pr- it probably explains my, you know, I've had lots of issues with gynecomastia over the years, and I suspect other guys do too. Um, uh, there's also aromatase deficiency syndrome where people just don't make aromatase. You know, I hear these guys that can take, tons and tons and tons of testosterone two three grams of testosterone and their estrogen levels never get high i suspect that they have um this genetic uh, mutation that allows them to get away with that um you'll you'll see it sometimes in women that they are, are masculinized where women will have beard facial hair uh you know male characteristics um and it's often from aromatase deficiency syndrome not always but uh it can be um, considerations for cycles, I kind of briefly touched on this earlier, but if you're fat, you know, if your body fat percentage is really high, you probably don't want to be loading up on a ton of aromatizable um, compounds. You know, don't be taking two grams of test a week. You're just going to end up converting most of it or a large chunk of it, say a third of it into estrogen. You're going to have a huge estrogen bomb, and then you have to use heavy amounts of aromatase inhibitors to to counteract it and those come with their own risk too you know more drugs to counteract the drugs you're taking you should always try to use the least amount possible i do this for harm reduction that's the reason why i put these videos out to try to help people to make good choices um you know so uh, always the (laughs) guys take take drug A and then need drug B to manage the side effects for that and then need drug C to manage the side effects from that one. So uh, it's it's just a cascade of bullshit that you get yourself into. So the, le- the, the least amount of drugs you can use are always the best. So if you know that you're aromatized heavily, don't take a ton, ton of uh, aromatizing hormones. You know, if you're high body fat, stick with the dry compounds. Um... And use lower doses of tests. You know, you want some tests in your system for sexual function and just, you know, to get, you know, so, some of the masculinization benefits that men need from tests. But you don't have to take a ton. 150 milligrams, 200 milligrams per week should suffice at TRT levels. And then throw something on top of it like primobolin, um, something that doesn't aromatize. Um if you don't aromatize, by all means, take advantage of it. You know, load up. It, it, they, the old saying, test is best. I don't know if I agree with that necessarily. But if you can get away with taking a ton of tests and not have estrogen issues, go for it. Um, you know, just be careful with the other side effects. But, uh, you know, it's all individual. That's that's how a lot of this stuff is. Just because person, your favorite pro bodybuilder says he takes this, These compounds doesn't mean you can get away with the same thing. You don't have his genetics. You don't have his makeup. Um, And you also don't know if he's telling the truth either. All these guys are full of shit. So uh, make your own decisions based on your health. Get blood work done. Know if you truly need it. um, and, And go from there. Hopefully this is helpful. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. I know I keep saying this. I really appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, feel free to ask questions. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Um, you know, I have a Facebook. Uh, um, I have a Facebook page as well. You know, group where I'm kind of going to do Q and A's on there. Um, and uh, if there's other videos you want me to make on topics, I'm open to suggestions. And follow me on Instagram at Paul K Barnett. Thank you.